the Young Gunners took the trophy and bragging rights, winning their ninth Hopkinton Boosters Turkey Bowl. The annual game took place the Friday after Thanksgiving. Hillers football pose for their annual team shot. The team closed out their season in Ashland on Thanksgiving Day with the annual Turkey Day game versus the Ashland Clockers. Things were close early on, but the Clockers pulled away and grabbed the 35-12 victory. Hopkinton finished the season 4-7 overall. For the 16th year, the Woodville Rod and Gun Club baked and deep fried over 800 pounds of turkey, serving over 140 plates on Thanksgiving to the public for free. Hopkinton Scout Troop 1 was assisted by the Hillers baseball team in setting up for their annual Christmas tree sale. The sale takes place in the lot of the former Colella's, which now houses CVS and Marty's Liquors. The sale will continue daily up until Christmas or all the trees sell out. Any purchase of a tree or any of the wreaths for sale from the Scouts will go towards funding for the Scout Troop. After taking home their second state championship in the past three seasons, Hillers Volleyball hosted their end of the season banquet. The team finished the season 22-2 overall and took home the state championship with a victory over Notre Dame Academy in the championship round. See many more pictures from the banquet at our sceneinhopkinton.org. Several Hopkinton High School alumni were honored during the second annual Top of the Hill ceremony. Among those honored, George Brown, class of 1898, Walter Brown, class of 1923, Fred Harris, class of 1963, Michael Shepard, class of 1963, Kelly Grill, class of 1983, Sonny P. Bevel, class of 1993, and Libby McDonald Bischoff, class of 1995. Before being honored during the evening ceremony, the alumni got a tour around the school and a chance to talk with students and staff. See many more pictures at sceneinhopkinton.org.